Hey guys, Professor Bell Comic Book University and Jean Grey issue number four. Guys, I've got a really long story to tell you, but it doesn't have anything to do with this comic. Rather, that's pretty much what Thor's doing this entire time. Now, a lot of times older people will tell really long stories and younger people, <coughs> millennials, will not like it and be like, oh my god, can't you just like tell me what you want to tell me and go on? And I know millennials don't talk like that. Well, not everywhere, but this is a great great diaspora between the old, I'm talking the really ancient, like godly old, and the very, very time-displaced young. Ah, uh, I love this. You know, sometimes just giving somebody the answer isn't the way, but if you give someone a story to go with it, you know, it, it, it one, it shows, does this person have the patience to actually hear what you're trying to teach, or are they just, you know, I just want the shortcut, you know? So, yeah, yeah. This story is amazing. Guys, last issue, we got to see that uh, the Submariner was besieged by Jean Grey for some help, and it was one of the best Submariner stories ever. And I really wanted that to continue. I was so upset when I saw that Thor was going to be this, and I love Thor. Dude, I love Thor. I love Thor way more than I love freaking Namor. But I wanted that Namor story to continue. Now... At the end of this, I see that Thor is not going to be in the next issue. And I'm so disappointed because I think that this would be such a great story to have Jean Grey hanging out, talking with Thor, just running side by side with him and learning how to be a warrior. And man, listen, is it bad for me to say that I don't know right now if Super Sons or Jean Grey is my favorite comic book on the shelves right now? Because honestly, these are both amazing comic books. One is a coming of age story. Actually, they're both coming-of-age stories. <laughs> oh my god, they're both coming-of-age stories. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now that this book needs to be in your collection. This series needs to be in your collection. Not on digital, seriously. Not on digital, but actual, seriously, in your collection. This is great. This is worthy of an A, to say the least. This story, like, the only way this story could have been better if it would have given some kind of continuity between the whole Phoenix saga and what's going on right now, the Phoenix saga with the Thors, uh, Thor and Odin's son, and what's going on with the, the Phoenix over in uh, the Thanos comic books and what's happening right now. If we would have some kind of continuity with that, it would make me feel a lot better myself. Just, you know, myself. But regardless... This was an amazing story. It was just, it was not just beautiful, but it was amazing. And I can't wait to see now, next issue, we're going to have Psylocke. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm loving this series. This is such a great series. More, more. I demand more. All right, guys. Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.